Hello everyone, welcome again. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover the, all the things about the polymorphism in Java. What is a polymorphism? What is a runtime polymorphism? What is a static polymorphism? What is a dynamic polymorphism? What is a overloading method? Overloading method? Overriding everything. So there is a complete article on that complete for all the things about the polymorphism. I will provide that the link in a description box. Please visit there in code1.com and just check the complete article. So I will try to solve you. Uh, I will try to um, show you some practical things about the polymorphism, how it will work in this video. So what is a polymorphism? Poly means is you can say many and uh, morphism means is a many form so you can say something is like uh, there is the same name or uh, different different properties different different properties that uh, same name but they are performing the different different uh, properties or different different things so similar kind of uh, concept is their polymorphism it is a oops concept object oriented uh, programming concept which is supported by java Poly, you can read here the polymorphism is a one thing with many behavior for example we can say like uh, we have a class which car which name is a car and a method is price so you can say the every car has a price but every car has a different different price so you can see here example car is a class there is a class called car and uh, which have a method price and the price method is depends on your type of car so like i have an exxon car and it's extend the car class and it set the price according to its use so the name of method will be same it's not changing the name of method but it's a different thing it's a, it's a, it's a, it's showing the uh, according to the it's showing its property according to the requirement so the requirement so now car price is like this the 5.97 like to 9.57 like and eco sport extend again car so price set price will be set according to the car so it's seven like something and again figo will the figo's price is four like to seven like so here we are using actually the concept of method overriding and how we'll do that practically i will show you so now i think uh, you understand what is a polymorphism so next thing is what type of polymorphism in java so java has only two types of polymorphism a runtime polymorphism and a compile time polymorphism polymorphism you can say the runtime polymorphism is a method overloading uh, um, sorry method overriding and a compile time polymorphism is a method overloading so we will discuss these things first i'm going to show you what is exactly polymorphism and how it's work as a practically so you can see here i have a class main class now i'm going to define one more class class car or you can say another example like bank class bank and there is a method which will return the interest rate of method because the maybe interest rate will be different for every every bank so i'm going to define a method here public void interest rate simply system dot out dot telling and it depends on bank now I have a class is called SDFC right and SDFC has a its own interest rate so like interest rates will be 8.9 and uh, other bank you can say SBI so SBI bank has an own interest rate like 9.0 or similarly you can take more bank or more classes and take this example so 
now uh, you can see here the bank class name is a different but the method name is same but according to the requirement they are their behavior is changed so now i'm going to create in uh, uh, first time i'm going to extend these classes this bank class in every bank uh, this bank class in every bank so extends bank now x is they also extend bank now you can say we are using the function of uh, the concept of overriding indirectly we are what we are doing we are overriding this method we just extend that bank class and override this interest rate method so now this is the concept of overriding and uh, finally i'm going to create an uh, object of bank class and uh, try to find out the object the output so obj dot like i want uh, like i want the uh, price of uh, sbi so here i'm going to create of object of uh, sdfc so reference will be bank and sdfc so obj dot price obj dot interest rate obj so now again i'm going to create another object sbi sbi bank and so name will be sbi and i'm calling the same method so let's check the output so there is a different different output but we are calling the same method so according to the requirement, it changes behavior. It's called the method overriding, or uh, you can say it's a runtime polymorphism, or it is a concept of polymorphism. So what is the method overloading, and how to use that method overloading, and uh, it's uh, you can say method overloading or uh, uh, compile time polymorphism. It's uh, it's uh, changing the uh, method behavior at the runtime. So it's called runtime behavior. Now let's see the method overloading. So what is a method overloading and how to use it? So I'm going to take a simple example for this. Like I have a class, class math, math, you can say, and there is a method public void sum with two parameter in A and into b and it will return a plus b now we need to change the return type okay another method with the same name but different parameter so it will return a plus b plus now you can see the method name will be method name is same only different in a parameters so now i'm going to create an object of the class max obj equals to new max obj dot sum and 10 20 when again i'm going to call some method with three parameters so 10 20 and 30. let's check the output oh before this i have to store this value in a variable and print it it is a a it is a b and now i need to print this system Okay. Let's check the output and 13 16. Okay. So what is the method over uh, method overloading? Just we are create a method here and again we are using create a same method same method here, say with same name and uh, we just overload it. 
so there is a two rule behind the method overloading the, the first rule is that you need to check the parameters parameter should be different or the return type should be different there is a uh, like when you are using with the same parameter like i'm using with the same parameter and same return time so compiler will be confused uh, with some method you are going to call here so you need to differentiate something so first thing you can different uh, you can take a different like a number of parameters like here i'm using number of parameters two and here i'm using number of parameters three one more difference you can take like public void sum or integer a and integer b so, wait. so sorry it's a void so okay so just i'm going to print a method here system dot out dot print link and hello it's just a method so here is a return type is different and parameter also so you you need to change uh, a return type or the parameters so i already simply calling that obj dot sum print hello also so this is the method overloading so now i think you understand how to use method overloading and overriding in java and what is exactly polymorphism okay now you understand what is a runtime polymorphism here is an example of bank also and one example on car showroom also so you can check on the link so we will discuss some important points which you should remember uh, the method over about the polymorphism so, so method overriding or dynamic binding runtime polymorphism is similar to each other it is a only confusing word so remember one thing method overriding dynamic winding runtime polyphemis is similar abstract method must be overridden in java like when you if you don't know what is abstract method and what is abstract class so watch most previous videos and you can see you can understand what is abstract class how to use abstraction in java and what is a abstract method so you need to override compulsorily over need to override that abstract method um, after that we can use this so we can not override the final method overriding means you are going to make changes on that particular method or something so or final means you can't change anything so it's uh, opposite to each other so we can't uh, we cannot uh, override the final methods we cannot override the static method also and constructor also we cannot achieve runtime polymorphism via data member like if i am going to use some data members so it's not possible we can overload it constructor in java so yes uh, we can similarly as i am overloading that classes so if we have the, that, that method so i can keep remember the two rule that one rule the different parameters I can use that constructor also. Uh, I can overload that constructor also. So polymorphism. Now we'll discuss about some important questions, some inter important interview questions and answers. Like what is a polymorphism? You know very well. And one line you can say define a method in a multiple form is called polymorphism. What is the method overriding and its rule? So you know what is a method overloading or uh, method overloading so multiple methods with the same name but a different method signature and different number of types of parameters there should be method return type or parameter will not be same of two methods this is an important rule behind it what is a method overriding some methods is in the, uh, some method same method in subclass in parent class is known as a method overriding in java as you see in the example difference between the method overloading and the overriding you know everything and uh, so i will provide the description uh, that uh, link in a description box for the complete theory so you can read or you can take uh, these examples for your learning purpose 
and uh, if you want uh, more updates and you don't want to miss any updates on new tutorial or new video or new post so please subscribe this channel and uh, uh, share with your friend and if you like and if